Hello everybody and welcome back to Wing Nation as we go into episode 3. <sighs> welcome back everybody to the number one garage in town. So here we go, a couple of things have happened since last time. So we've gone up a few levels, um, up to level 4, I had a quick couple of goals last time. Got a couple of jobs done, a little itty bitty ones. We've got a couple of levels up. We've got nimble hands, which means you can unscrew and screw things up a lot quicker, which was an absolute pain in the kahoot. And faster part installing and removing. We've also upgraded the garage slightly as well, so we've got the path test and the repair table. So that's what I'm going to be walking you through today. We're going to have a quick look at the path testing, which is in this wonderful room right here. Managed to get our hands on a little May M3. M3 rather, it's not looking too nice. It's a, a big old bucket of rust. People that have played 2015, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, will know that this room in that game was just a sort of room that was out in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't walk straight into it. It wasn't in the middle of nowhere, it was off the side. What the hell am I talking about? And you click the door, chose what car you wanted to go in there, it went in there and it automatically kicked you straight into the test. We do know things a little bit differently around here now. So you've got to move the car in this, you right click in, you're moving the car, and then you are picking test path. Car's gone. I've not gone with the car, but the car's gone. So what we should find, do the little area doing, and inside this room is the main M3 at the end of the test path, which is quite nice. And it's a lot nicer. The only thing is downsides, you can't fall in. So you've not really played a true to form there. But hey ho. So I'm going to look for this little machine over here. A little path tester. Are you sure you want to proceed with the path test? Yes, we do. Who? And it puts us in the car, just like it did before. Just about got it. And you can see in the upper left part of the screen now. Actually, you can't. Let me move out across view. Let me shift me down there. Happy days. So you can see in the top left now we've got rear suspension, rear brakes. Over the right from that front brakes, front suspension. So just like in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, we're going to drive forward. Under the runners. And we want to press the brakes. There's the brakes. It's tested the front brakes. Gives you the percentage. It's nice. It's neat. It's lovely. Take the rear wheels on and the same again. Looking good. Look at my so there we go, we've tested the brakes, move across onto the suspension. So that's the front tested. Now we move the back cross. I'm not going to keep doing that, it's going to be a bit of a bad head. So the guys that have played the last car mechanic simulator will completely recognize this. It's pretty much exactly the same format. They've just moved it out a little bit so you can, you can sort of walk around it as it's going on. You're not dragged straight into it, which is nice. But when you take all that nicey, nicey sort of background stuff away, it's the same sort of functionality, same tools, same process, even the same process with the rollers. And it's, it's true to form. So that's it. That's the test path in a nutshell. It gives you the scores, which is always handy if you're self-diagnosing stuff. And then we've also got the repair bench. So we're going to write items to work with. But essentially, you put the parts on there, much like the repair bench in the last game. And you can uh, attempt to repair it or break it, depending on what your skill level is and how crafty you're feeling at the time. Other than that, there's not much else new. So I think with this car now, we'll have a quick look at what the job is. We'll crack on with that. Then we'll call it a day. So we just got a couple of things to do. So it's a steel rack. I think this is exactly the same as the job I done yesterday. Oh no, so we lift it up. Mm. Well, as you can see the speed difference as well. So we're banging them parts up. Taking the parts off, banging the screws out is... It's greedy.
So that's it, job done. Kaboom, just like that. And now we've got the auto saving bit. So we're back, don't know what there, the game glitched out. Hey ho. So we're going to go to the repair bench. Mm, that's not right, that's not right. Where did I get them tires from? This happened yesterday as well. I seem to be lifting things from some from somewhere. Who knows? Who actually bloody knows anymore? Yeah, oh, so that's it. The repair bench and the path test ticked off. I'm ready to rock and roll. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's just a quick one. I want to keep it brief because I don't want to be dragging them on because I know they're difficult to watch them. Just keep it short, snappy, and everything that you guys want to see and nothing else. Au revoir. See you guys in the next video.